This week on Sport Fishing, we're at Catalina Island fishing aboard the Gale Force. We left this morning out of San Pedro, came across the channel, and right now we're bottom fishing, looking for rockfish, red snapper, fish like that. And later today, we're gonna to be close to the island looking for some calico bass. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. I got bit really hard. Don't know if they ate the squid, cut squid, or the anchovy. Just fishing 30 pound spectra right on the bottom. And I have a piece of 30 pound mono attached to it. Oh, here's my fish. Nice sheephead. Nice. Nice. It looks like I got it on the squid. This is a sheephead. If you've never seen one, this is the only fish in the Pacific Ocean that changes sexes. And uh, right now this one's a female. And you'll see the males that I have a lot of black and white in it. And uh, that's a male. This is a female right now. Nice fish, nice legal fish. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Gale Force and go to the tackle box and show you the gear we're using for today's trip. This week in the tackle box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today over at Catalina Island. We're fishing with live bait, fishing for yellowtails and calico bass, and we're fishing light line, 20 pound test, 25 pound test max, even 15 pound, just to get that bite. And when you're fishing light line like that, you can use a light outfit like this, nothing really big, nothing really too heavy, something light that you can fish all day in your hands, make long casts to get your bait out there. Now you never know exactly what size bait you're gonna have, if it's gonna be small anchovies, or big sardines or small mackerel. So it's really important that you always carry a wide selection of hooks. Now you hear me preach about having a wide selection of hooks all the time, and it's really important. because I see so many people get out there at the island and they have the wrong size hook and they have to go borrow hooks or buy hooks on the boat, which can get expensive. For today's fishing, we have those smaller sardines. So anywhere from a size one or a size two O live bait hook works out good. When there's yellowtail around, you don't want to use a really thin wire hook. You want at least a two or three X wire hook, 
So if you hook a nice yellow, even with a small hook like this, you'll still be able to get it. So that's the basic gear you need for live bait fishing. With the calicos, if you want to use a bucktail, B-52 bucktail, that'll work out good too. The smaller bucktails go with the strip of squid, the larger one's a whole squid. But right now we're catching all these fish on live bait, so you need to have a wide selection of live bait hooks, light line, and you won't be disappointed. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Had a nice bite off the bottom. You don't have to go really fast, Larry. It's nice and easy. Calico Hello. bass, there you go. Oh, yeah. Might be legal. All right, calico bass. Got another one here, live bait again. Just fishing light line, 20 pound test. I know for a lot of you that isn't light, but uh, 20 pound test here at the island, fly lining, and just using just a really simple technique. Uh, a real small sinker, just a quarter ounce sinker, and a size two hook, a small hook. I know for a lot of people that seems like too small of a hook, but really we just kind of match the hook to the size of the bait. Today we just have anchovies. Here comes my fish right here. It looks like a calico bass. There it comes. There he is. So you can see right here, here's my anchovy. And then there's the hook. Just barely hooked there. Just barely got him right there. And then that little tiny sliding sinker. The fish is small, but you know, we're out here and tough fishing, you got tough conditions like we had today here with lots of wind, lots of swell. You take whatever opportunity you get. If you see people not catching fish on the heavier lines, drop down to 20 pound or 50 pound, go with the small hook to match the bait, and you catch fish like this. Granted, you can't keep this fish, you don't let it go. It's a lot more fun to hook them and land them than you can just release them. And in between, you're gonna get some legal fish too. All right, let's take a little break from the action and go ahead and release this one right now. out here with the charter today and he's got a bonita coming up his first bonita of the day he's 
I've been watching all the girls catch them. Now he wants to catch one. There you go. Get in the boat. catching today. This week in the galley, we're back in West LA, Red O Restaurant. Standing next to me is executive chef of the Red O Restaurant, Chef Anthony. Hey, Chef. Hey, how you doing? Good. Last time I saw Anthony, he was out fishing with us on one of our trips. And today we're in the kitchen with you, man. Yeah, I'm excited to show you this. So uh, what today, do you have for us? Today, today we got a uh, yellowtail agua chile. So our version of a ceviche that we do here. So we've gone ahead and cut the yellowtail already. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the portions right here on the plate. Uh, kind of center it out a little bit. Uh, from here, we're gonna start compiling our separate ingredients. So we have diced orange. From there, we're gonna go to our avocado. You're just cutting little chunks, huh? Yeah, so try to keep them nice and small and sexy. From here, we're going to go to our cucumber. Then some serranos for some heat. Yeah, it seems like every dish you make has some sort of heat. It's a good balance. Yeah, so. I like that. <laughs> you can never have too much chili. And then we do uh, have a uh, Mexican knob onions here at the restaurant. So we went ahead and cut them into a ring just to add a different sort of eye appeal to the dish. Okay, finish off with a sprinkle of cilantro microgreens around. A little bit of salt because it never hurts. <laughs> and finish off with uh, nori dust. So basically seaweed, it's been uh, grounded down. Just to add some just, sex appeal to the plate. Just dried seaweed? Yeah. Cool. Basically is what you roll uh, uh, sushi rolls in, but we went ahead and uh, grind it down. So this is brought out to our guest, and table side we pour our Serrano lime juice. Just enough to start the curing process of the fish at the table. You can already see the fish changing colors. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give it a try. All right. You got it. Yellowtail. You gotta get a chili. That's delicious. Yeah, good balance of flavors, really, really fresh. I mean, yeah, what more can you ask for when you have the ceviche, right? And what's in this juice? So it's a Serrano lime juice, so Serrano's uh, that have been blended into our fresh squeezed lime juice here. A little bit of pineapple juice kind of balance out the flavors. So you actually get the juice out of a Serrano chili? No, like blend down the, the lime juice uh -huh. with the with, uh, Serrano's, Serrano's yeah. It. And then we strain it out to kind of get it as clear as we possibly can. And, there you go. Yeah, I've never had a juice that had a bite of a chili before. Yeah. <laughs> that is really, really good. This is totally different. And it's yellowtail. We caught a lot of yellowtail last season. It's an awesome dish. Well, thanks, Chef. Oh, thank you guys for coming down. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, we're out here at Red O Restaurant, West LA. Really beautiful location and great food. So thanks a lot, Chef. Oh, thank you. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Keep them on that side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Now 
now we're on the front side of the island. You know, not fishing the bottom, fly lining and bait, and I just got bit. Looks like we got Benita around us. So I threw out a fly line bait, anchovy, and it got bit. I don't have a calico or a bonita. I'm guessing it's a bonita because that's what people are catching them. Here, put your rod over there. Oh, just, just put your rod over there. you go. So let's see what I got here. That's yellow. Keep on winding. Okay, I got yellow going here. We got yellow tail on here and a bait. They're trying to work my line free. Can you grab Ryan, a gaff, Ryan? Ryan? We got a yellow right here. Where? There he is right there, a little yellow. Other side. Whoa. Got my little phone. Want me to gaff it? Yes, here's a little yellow I just caught. This fly lining uh, live anchovy. Skipper made the move, like I said, to the front side of the island. It's pretty lumpy out there on the back. We're catching a little rockfish. So I fly lined an uh, anchovy with a mustad live bait hook, a size two hook, a small hook. You got this nice, nice little yellow tail. Not a big fish, but it'll taste delicious. Oh, there he is. There he is, right on the surface. Keep going, get all the way in the corner. There you go. Yeah. Keep walking, keep walking all the way down. Get down there all the way to the corner. Get up all your life. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Walk down, walk down now. Walk. Come over, you're going to get the pop. Go, go. Go, 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 go. That must add thin, thin wire hook because I'm using thin wire because of the anchovies and there's been those little yellowtail. If we had big yellowtail or we had bigger tuna, uh, then I would go ahead and fish a 3x hook. But 
his little Bonita. Uh, and he can get by with the one wire hook. Again, fishy 20 pound test line. And you think of Bonita, you don't think of it as a tuna, but uh, Bonita is actually part of the tuna family. So, so far I got some jacks, a couple yellowtail, and a baby tuna here. All right, normally I would let this one go, but some people want to eat them. All right, we take a little break from the action, and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we caught all this Bonita and Yellowtail. It was really important to use a small hook. And because of the baits we're using, I went with the size two Mustad Live Bait Hook with a quarter ounce sinker. Again, the tip is when you have small baits, use a small hook and fish that light line too. And you don't want to match a hook to the size of fish you're trying to catch, but use the hook to match the size of bait that you're using. And when you got small baits like this, you really got to use a small hook. And that's this week's tip. Small hook when you have small baits and you'll catch nice fish like those big Bonita and Yellowtail that I got today. Well, we had a lot of fun fishing board the Gale Force today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you did enjoy this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.